Hi, and welcome to A Punk With Toys. My name is Lawrence. Today we're gonna take a look at the Snake Eyes Edit Timber 2-pack. This is number 52, and this is the second one, the windowless package, so this is the second Snake Eyes and Timber that we're getting. So before we get started, if you don't mind, take a second, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I do one of these videos or any other review video, any type of video and hit the like button because it helps the analytics and it helps YouTube push out these videos. So not only you are seeing them, but other people that are involved in the toy community, they can see the reviews and different things like that. So let's just get right into it because it's what you want to talk about. So this is a white wolf, different than the gray wolf, but I believe it is the exact same wolf. Snake eyes, I believe is a little bit different boots. And I think the face is a little bit different, but I think they said it was based off Renegades. So here you have, nice artwork and again if you put two together it's gonna make one nice scene and then you have the picture of the two figures and then again it's also on the back so we lose the wonderful collage of all the figures that we have to date the one thing that i definitely do like is it gives you all the accessories the weapons that he comes with obviously the extra head the schmock get it i got it right the schmock but I like that they give you the actual height of the figure. And when I mean the actual height, I mean in inches, not what he's supposed to be. So he's not supposed to be six foot three, he's six inches three. Okay, so um, let's not waste any more time. Again, it's number 52. This is the file card that I kind of blasted last time, but nobody wants to look at me. Let's open this up and compare them to the vintage timber, if you see why they wanted a white one and then I have other snake eyes i got so many snake eyes so let's get to it all right so we'll just do it again because a lot of people maybe haven't seen the windowless package again here he is timbers in here snake eyes is in here you got this type of kind of paper clips holding in so once again they are keeping the plastic out of it On this side it's a little bit easier and then timber I don't think they're gonna make this too easy so I do like the fact that they are actually taking some time putting some ink printed maybe laser printed but it doesn't matter if ink or whatever but some prints on it so it looks nice Marvel Legends doesn't seem to be doing it, but this at least makes it look nice. I guess you can use it as a backdrop. Here's what all the weapons came in. It's kind of like this weapons case. Again, it's a nice idea, but this is absolutely huge. I mean, is that supposed to be, you know, a button for them, a hand button? I mean, it, this is huge. So they should have done something smaller. They made the handles look just way too big. Nice idea. I just don't think it was executed that great. Here is a bag of something. Supposedly, I think it's supposed to open, but you know, frankly, I don't care. It's just tissue paper. So in here, which is odd. So they got some weapons in here, the schmock, uh, hand. So here is Timber's other head. They got the suppressor, pistol, the schmock, which is the same that comes with Stalker. Matter of fact, it looks to be the exact same color. So no different, no paint apps. That might be a, I think it's a slight different color. It's hard to tell. Here we have the Alley Vipers weapon. Snake Eyes Uzi. His karate chopping hand which i do believe zero zero came with and then a throwing star hand which is zero zero i know came with and same with here that's the fortnite one so quickly you hear my dog barking isn't that wonderful so i do like the fact that they put cardboard in this this sword I'll tell you first impression looks really really nice um, we're going to compare that to the other swords. Let's see what's in this one. 
So here's another one of Alley Viper's weapons, along with the magazine, which is the same magazine that goes right here. Again, you can check out my Alley Viper review if you're so interested in. And here we have <laughs> the Alley Viper's um, grappling hook. So they're giving you lots of weapons, which is nice. But again, these are all reused of weapons. Everything in this is pretty much reused. And here is the sheath, but it has some nice paint to it. So it is a nice gray and it has brown to make it look leather. I like that. That looks really nice. And I really like the way that the sword is painted. So some good, some good things on it right there. It looks maybe a little bent, not too bad, but they use the cardboard to keep it nice and straight, I guess as straight as possible. I like that. At least they're doing something to keep it that way. So give me a second. I'm gonna wrap, we're gonna get all these snake eyes out. Alright, so here we have the three faces of snake eyes, and we'll just add another snake eyes to it. So Let's quickly, we'll go through the articulation. This is not pinless, not yet. And he's gonna have an issue moving his, you know what? He may have the same issue because this is hard. It's not gonna go up all the way. It is odd. I don't remember this before. Well, there we go. He's very gummy. So I say right off the bat, not all that impressed. Kind of reminds me of the other one. Seems like they didn't get the kind of looseness out of it. Double joints. Again, not pinless. These straps are going to fall down. They tend to do this. He's got his ab crunch. His wrist. wrist. Man, oh man. His waist swivel. Can look down a little bit, look up. His neck pivots back and forth. And then it can turn up on the ball joint. It's kind of weird. You kind of got to loosen it up there. No pinless knee, but his double joints. This here will kind of get in the way. Same as I mentioned before. Boot cut. Thigh swivel. I absolutely love that popping sound of plastic just kind of breaking. So, no need to heat him up. No issues there. So, let's quickly take a look at him. And clearly, the paint apps are different. But I can tell you right now, the only thing that I'm noticing that is different are the boots. So, just grab the Fortnite snake eyes. We'll take off his sword. So, Fortnite snake eyes, everything is the exact same. Except for the paint apps. So, the bandoliers with the grenades are all the same. Everything up here is the same. He's black with this green. And then there's a Rashikage right there. Rashikage symbol is black. The head, I was under the assumption, is a different sculpt. But I'm going to tell you right now, I don't believe that to be true. It's more of a matte. Like a matte, dark, dark gray. But I thought that it was a different head sculpt. And... I'm going to tell you, it looks to be the exact same. Down here, we're going to have green mixed with like this really dark green or dark, dark gray. But they're the exact same pants. Matter of fact, they fit closer to the color scheme of the Zero Zero Snake Eyes, who also have a green tint to it. Boots are what's different. He has more combat boots, which I believe are the same boots that Stalker has. I'm trying to look here. 
Hmm. I believe the top of the boot is the same. But the lower boot is actually different. So the foot is actually different. If you can see that. The straps go all the way down on Stalker. But I believe... Oh no, the boots are... Oh, okay, so the boots are completely different. So I was completely wrong. Ignore that part of the review. If you're still watching. <laughs> um, Alright, so... Again, he's the exact same. Can't really use that one. So, thigh holster is going to be the same. Put the suppressor right here. Because this is the zero zero, you're getting the real gun with the extended magazine. Again, suppressor right there. The sword here is all one color. Snake Eyes Fortnite is all black. This sword looks better the sheath is the same all right other than they gave this I, I like the paint on this new one it's gray and this makes it looks like it's this leather like a like a, that brown leather i think it looks really nice slide the sword in here And I think that looks really nice. I am very impressed with that. Now, they didn't give him a backpack. And again, I'm not going over everything with this because I've already reviewed this same figure now three times. So looking at it, everything here is the exact same other than the boots. That's very disappointing. So we're going to put Snake Eyes there. So what does Snake Eyes come with? He comes with the Alley Viper rifle. Same magazine and everything. The Alley Viper's grappling hook, which that does come off. Again, it's nice to give you stuff, but Alley Viper, you get all this stuff. The Alley Viper OG gun. So that's his original classic gun. Again, magazine that comes off. Here we have the Uzi. Now this is much better than the Snake Eyes in Wave 1, other than zero, 0 The pistol with suppressor. And the knife, which, let's see, fits in, which, if anyone remembers... Snake Eyes, it does not. The O2 Snake Eyes, I think it doesn't fit in. When they did the uh, slight repaint of him, they fixed that so it fit in. It always fit in the 0-0, so somewhere there was an issue. Probably end up being worth money at some time. But I'm looking at the colors. I like this. All right? Did I need another Snake Eyes? I don't think so. So here is Commando Snake Eyes. That comes with the original timber. So now let's take a look at timber. And so here is timber. And he is a white wolf here. And our original timber is right there. So clearly, when Hasbro did the original, it was just this white wolf, one paint. Just... Not one paint. One plastic gray color. They decided to go more classic. It would have been nice if they would have given him, again, a different head sculpt without the, um, without the scars. Because now I have two, I have two timbers, or two wolves, both with the exact same scar. Technically, I have three because I bought a second one because. I have issues. <laughs> um, but they are the same. I will say this. Seeing in person. I do like the White Wolf. More than I thought I was going to. Because he's not just full on white or gray. Um, it looks like they gave him a slight wash. Or maybe it's just due to the texture of him. That the shading kind of plays a... Uh, hand and making it look like it uh, changed so 
the articulation in him, body moves, head moves. Pop this off. He has a ball joint. So we can throw this head on. I just got it in out of the way. Now for this timber, I definitely like the more subdued look. Again, you get the painted paws. Again, it looks really nice, but I think just in general, we've had enough snake eyes. And there's another one that just went on pre-order yesterday. So, and then the other things that he has is he does have these removable hands. So if you want a throwing star. Now they didn't even bother. Uh, I guess it is looks like it's painted like a, a gray. I guess it kind of fits a little more. With the uh, karate chop hand. Oh, it's actually. Is it? Yeah, so it looks like he has some sort of weapon. I never noticed that. So it looks like he has some sort of weapon. So he can grab onto stuff. That's kind of cool. I didn't notice that. But it makes sense why there's a strap. So all suited up. Throw that there. The suppressor in there. I, I feel like they really, he's still kind of loose. That's been an issue since the first one. The Fortnite one. There's my 001. I'm gonna give him, I swear I'm just rambling on right now. <laughs> there he has his Uzi. So I'm gonna wrap this up. I, I don't know what else I can say. I mean, I could put links to all these snake eyes that I reviewed, but I don't think you guys are going to watch them. And some of them are pretty awful, um, especially the early ones. So I'm going to wrap it up. Let's finish this thing. All right, so there you have it. Probably not my best review. I guess I'm just over reviewing snake eyes like so many are. So there's two ways to look at this. Let me wrap this up with there's two ways to look at this. One is, not a lot of people were able to get the first uh, special edition of Zero Zero Snake Eyes. And then when the first wave came out, it's still not easy to find Snake Eyes. You can probably go find them, but it's not going to be that easy. A lot of people didn't want the Fortnite one. I don't really blame them, although I do like it. Um, the knife, the sidearm don't come out. It doesn't come with as easy. Then you get the Commando Snake Eyes, which doesn't come with uh, his sword. It's before you it's before you knew that he was um, a ninja. He was just a commando. So they're kind of giving you giving this to you to say, all right, you know what? All the new people, you can get snake eyes. You can get that visor snake eyes. The people that already have them, hey, we're kind of doing a renegade theme. It's got some green pant, you know, green to it dark dark grays and black but the fact that the head sculpt which i i thought was changed i could have swore they said that it's a completely new head sculpt and that does not look like a new head sculpt so the boots are the only thing that that are changed on it i don't need any more snake guys but this is where hasbro and the gi joe team they have you by the you know what um and I think it's dirty. Is and it's on me and everyone else, but they put the numbers on it. So now if you have them all and you're a completist and you're putting them and you're putting them in numerical order, you're not gonna want to miss it. So it's great to say, hey, you know what? You guys missed out on snake eyes. Like this snake eyes, here you go. The people that already have them, if you don't want them, great, don't take them. But once you start numbering it, you know there's going to be a lot of complete this. It goes to the same thing that I say about Super 7. They know that they're going to get the completest with those reaction figures. And they put out, you know, nine sailors and nine troopers and nine. And they go, you don't have to buy them all. But they know people are going to. And this is where they're going to get their money. And hey, look, here I am. You got my money. So I'm just going to say it. If you already have Snake Eyes. If you already have the first Snake Eyes, not 00, but 02, I think it was. 
and you have Commando Snake Eyes, you don't need the Snake Eyes. Because you've already got Timber. I think the Gray Wolf actually looks better than the White Wolf. Although, I do think the White Wolf looks good. I don't think it looks bad. But the Gray One... Where's my Gray One at? Look this. The Gray One just looks better. More paint apps. He looks more vicious. Um... So I don't know. I can't. I can't honestly tell someone to go out and and, and pick up another Snake Eyes for forty forty five dollars. Even though I didn't, I can't honestly tell you to. I just it's the same figure. And again, I think. I mean, yeah, I'm a GI Joe guy, but I, I think this is where they kind of do you dirty. They number them, so they know people are Marvel Legends are numbered. Star Wars Black Series aren't numbered. If you number if you numbered them in the series, that might be fine. Uh, but I think that they need to to drop the number. They've dropped the other. They've dropped a lot of other stuff. They've gotten rid of gotten rid of the windows. So drop the numbers, just to help us all out. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're gonna make so much money off these army builders. You know, I mean, I think we all know that. So I'm gonna wrap it up. If you've listened this long, God bless you. Or Allah bless you or whoever bless you. I don't care. <laughs> that makes no difference to me. Uh, I'm going to get out of here. Before we before we finish, like I said, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification. Hit the like button. I did get this from Big Bad Toy Store. I will leave a link to Big Bad Toy Store. I will also leave a link to the Amazon affiliate of mine. Well, my Amazon affiliate link to Timber. If you're going to be purchasing anything on Amazon, I ask, please click it. It definitely will help out the channel, help us grow, um, help me with new equipment, different things like that. When I finally get to the point that maybe, maybe it starts to help. So um, I'm rambling on too much. I'm going to get out of here. This is going out first thing in the morning, so I'm not going to say have a good night. I'm going to say have a wonderful day and happy toy hunting.